There are certainly some jitters on Wall Street today, thanks in part to a $50 billion bailout involving Charlotte-based Bank of America. You're taking a live look now at the company's headquarters in Uptown. Today, the banking giant announced a deal to buy troubled brokerage firm Merrill Lynch. The news sent ripples through Wall Street, where stocks were down sharply today. The Dow ended the session down more than 500 points. That is the biggest drop since the aftermath of the September 11th attacks seven years ago. So what does all of this mean for you? Well, News Channel 36 reporter Beth Shane spent the day looking for answers. She's joining us now live from the NBC News Channel, where Bank of America's deal is making news across the country. Beth? Absolutely, Sonia. This buyout has plenty of people here in Charlotte and elsewhere worried for their jobs. And even if you don't work for a bank, all this change in financial institutions has plenty of people, rightfully so, worried about their savings. The color of money may be green. I just think they should, but I agree with you. With But if you've watched much CNBC today or lately, maybe you've been feeling mostly yellow or fear. We've still got a lot of sick financial institutions out there, and it's going to be a volatile, bumpy week. Banking's blues aren't going away even after the week is done. Even as he announced good news for his company today, Bank of America CEO Ken Lewis predicted there will be far fewer banks in years to come. Maybe half. Your money is safe so long as it's with a government-insured bank or credit union. Your investments may take a hit. Don't open your brokerage statement with any kind of optimism. Over the course of the next month or two, you're going to see it's a bumpy ride. So what do you do other than hang on tight? Unfortunately, not much. Don't panic. We will all live through this, but there are going to be a lot of headlines when you open the paper about another financial institution in trouble between now and the end of the crisis. The job loss portion of this Bank of America Merrill Lynch deal is still pretty unclear. Experts do agree there will be some kind of layoffs. They primarily believe they'll be on the Merrill Lynch side. Merrill Lynch, by the way, does have two offices here in Charlotte with a total of about 200 employees. Live at the NBC News Channel, Beth Shane, News Channel 36. All right, Beth.